Pluto has always been a celestial oddball. It was once considered the ninth planet in our solar system. But in 2006, everything changed. The International Astronomical Union reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. This decision shook the astronomical world and confused many who grew up learning about nine planets. The reclassification wasn't arbitrary, it came after years of debate among astronomers. The discovery of other Pluto-sized objects in the outer solar system sparked this debate. Astronomers realized they needed to redefine what makes a planet. The IAU created new criteria for planethood. A planet must orbit the Sun, be round due to its own gravity, and clear its orbital neighborhood. Pluto met the first two criteria, but not the third. It shares its orbital neighborhood with many other objects in the Kuiper Belt. Thus, it didn't make the cut as a full-fledged planet. Instead, it became the prototype for a new class of celestial bodies, dwarf planets. Despite the controversy, the classification has stuck and Pluto remains a dwarf planet. The story of Pluto's discovery is a tale of perseverance and luck. It begins in the early 20th century with astronomers puzzled by irregularities in Neptune's orbit. They theorized that another planet might be causing these disturbances, dubbed Planet X. Enter Clyde Tombaugh, a young astronomer at the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. In 1929, he was tasked with finding Planet X. On February 18, 1930, Tombaugh made his historic discovery. He found a faint moving object in the constellation Gemini. The Lowell Observatory had the right to name the new planet. The name Pluto was proposed by Venetia Burney, an 11-year-old schoolgirl from Oxford, England. Pluto was the Roman god of the underworld, fitting for a dark, distant world. Its first two letters, PL, were the initials of Percival Lowell, who had initiated the search for Planet X. Ironically, we now know that Pluto's mass is too small to have caused the observed irregularities in Neptune's orbit. Pluto's orbit is unlike any major planet in our solar system. It's highly elliptical, ranging from 30 to 49 astronomical units. Pluto's orbit is also tilted at a 17-degree angle. The discovery of the Kuiper Belt confirmed Pluto's unique status. This region is home to countless icy bodies. Pluto is one of the largest known Kuiper Belt objects. Pluto completes two orbits for every three of Neptune. Many other KBOs share similar resonances known as Plutinos. The New Horizons mission is one of NASA's most ambitious projects to date. Launched on January 19, 2006, its primary objective was to study Pluto and its moons. Pluto is incredibly far away, over 3 billion miles from Earth. The mission required careful planning and cutting-edge technology. New Horizons would become the fastest spacecraft ever launched, reaching speeds of over 36,000 miles per hour. The spacecraft's journey was long and filled with milestones. It passed Jupiter in 2007, using the giant planet's gravity to slingshot towards Pluto. This flyby also provided an opportunity to test the spacecraft's instruments. New Horizons then entered a hibernation mode for much of its journey. This helped conserve power and extend the life of its components. As New Horizons approached Pluto, excitement in the scientific community grew. On July 14, 2015, New Horizons made its historic flyby of Pluto. It passed within 7,800 miles of the dwarf planet's surface. The images and information sent back by New Horizons revolutionized our understanding of Pluto. The New Horizons mission revealed Pluto to be far more complex than anyone had imagined. One of the most striking discoveries was Pluto's geological activity. Scientists had expected to find a cold, dead world. Instead, they saw evidence of recent and ongoing geological processes. This activity suggests that Pluto has a source of internal heat. This heat could come from the decay of radioactive elements or tidal forces from its moons. Another surprising finding was Pluto's atmosphere. While we knew Pluto had a thin atmosphere, New Horizons provided detailed data about its composition and behavior. The atmosphere is primarily nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. It's much more dynamic than expected, with layers of haze extending up to 100 miles above the surface. The atmosphere also appears to be escaping into space at a slower rate than predicted. Pluto's surface composition was another revelation. The dwarf planet has a variety of terrains and colors. Its surface is primarily made of nitrogen ice, methane ice, and carbon monoxide ice. 
Perhaps most intriguingly, New Horizons found evidence suggesting the presence of a subsurface ocean. These findings have reshaped our understanding of dwarf planets and the dynamics of the outer solar system. Pluto's surface is a tapestry of diverse and fascinating features. The New Horizons mission revealed a world far more complex than astronomers had imagined. One of the most striking features is the heart-shaped region known as Tombaugh Regio. This vast plain of nitrogen ice spans about 1,000 miles at its widest point. The western lobe, called Sputnik Planitia, is a smooth craterless plain. This suggests it's geologically young, possibly only 100 million years old. The mountains on Pluto were another surprise. Peaks as high as 11,000 feet or 3,500 meters were observed. These mountains are likely made of water ice, which behaves like rock at Pluto's extremely cold temperatures. Some areas, like the informally named Cthulhu macula, are dark and reddish. This coloration is thought to come from complex organic molecules called tholins. Pluto also has a network of valleys and canyons. Another intriguing feature is the presence of what appear to be glaciers. These nitrogen ice glaciers seem to flow from the mountains into the plains, much like glaciers on Earth. Pluto's climate and atmosphere are as fascinating as they are extreme. With surface temperatures averaging around minus 230 degrees Celsius or minus 382 degrees Fahrenheit, Pluto is one of the coldest known objects in our solar system. This intense cold causes gases to freeze onto the surface, creating the icy plains and mountains we observe. However, Pluto's climate isn't static. Its highly elliptical orbit causes significant temperature variations over its 248-year journey around the Sun. The atmosphere of Pluto is thin but complex. It's primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane and carbon monoxide. As Pluto moves closer to the Sun in its orbit, some of these frozen gases sublimate, creating a temporary atmosphere. When Pluto moves farther from the Sun, these gases freeze back onto the surface. This cycle of freezing and thawing is Pluto's version of seasons, albeit on a much longer time scale than Earth's. New Horizons found that the atmosphere extends much higher than expected, up to 1,000 miles above the surface. Despite its thin nature, Pluto's atmosphere plays a crucial role in shaping the dwarf planet's surface. The study of Pluto's atmosphere provides valuable insights into atmospheric processes on low-gravity icy worlds. Pluto's system of moons is a miniature wonder in our solar system. The dwarf planet has five known moons, Charon, Nix, Hydra, Kerberos and Styx. Charon, the largest, was discovered in 1978. The other four were found between 2005 and 2012 using the Hubble Space Telescope. This complex system of moons makes Pluto more like a mini solar system than a solitary world. Charon is by far the largest of Pluto's moons. It's so large, in fact, that Pluto and Charon are often referred to as a double dwarf planet system. Charon is about half the size of Pluto and orbits at a distance of just 12,200 miles. Pluto and Charon are tidally locked, always showing the same face to each other as they orbit. The New Horizons mission provided our first close-up views of Pluto's smaller moons. Nix and Hydra, the next largest after Charon, are both irregularly shaped. They're thought to be formed from debris left over from the collision that created Charon. The smaller moons tumble chaotically as they orbit due to the complex gravitational interactions between Pluto, Charon and the other moons. This chaotic rotation is unique in our solar system and provides insights into the formation and evolution of complex satellite systems. One of the most exciting possibilities raised by the New Horizons mission is the potential existence of a subsurface ocean on Pluto. This idea, once considered far-fetched, has gained credibility based on several lines of evidence. The first hint came from the appearance of Pluto's surface. The lack of compression features suggests that Pluto may have expanded slightly over time. This expansion could be explained by the freezing of a subsurface ocean as water expands when it freezes. Another piece of evidence comes from Pluto's relationship with Charon. The two bodies are tidally locked, always presenting the same face to each other. This arrangement should have produced specific tidal patterns on Pluto's surface if it were completely solid. However, these expected patterns are not observed. 
A layer of liquid between Pluto's core and its icy crust could explain this discrepancy. The idea of a hidden ocean on such a cold, distant world is mind-boggling and raises exciting possibilities about the potential for life in the outer solar system.